say top billing top billing top billing to ya all right, top billing, man, that game last night was phenomenal. LSU showed up from pillar to post the entire season. You expected it to do exactly what it did because it has done it all season. Just a legendary team, a legendary performance and everything. Uh, shout outs to Clemson, man. A couple of breaks here, a couple of breaks there. You don't pass interference on the third and 19. Or you get the benefit of the doubt from the 50-50 uh, pass interference call when the touchdown went to T. Higgins. Man, a two-possession game. Uh, that's really nothing in football, but it is what it is. I think right here, man, you know that LSU will nickel and dime you if if necessary. It will take what the defense gives it. That's what it does, right? When they started playing off like this and giving up this type of space, look at the spacing giving up here. To LSU, I don't know what Brent Venables was doing sometimes, man. Even on this one right here, right, they sent a nail blitz from Isaiah Simmons. And what that does is the same exact thing, right? So you have to replace and what are you going to replace it with? That's going to be Kayvon Wallace out there back at depth. Too much space and men giving up to LSU, man. You cannot play afraid against LSU because it really doesn't matter what you do. They're going to succeed anyway. You just want to make it as difficult as possible because they make even the difficult stuff look rather routine at times. All right, we see him on the pool right here. You can see he originally wants to shoot this bad boy to Thad Moss, but he's so smart he understands uh, the traffic flow, right? Then he comes backside, right? It's some, it's it's a progression read all in the same area. That's how you work it these days, right? Try to shoot it to Justin Jefferson. I want you to pay attention to this. Playing this style of ball, right, leaves one safety behind you. More on that a little bit later, right? So if you look at the traffic flow, obviously Justin Jefferson being bracketed by two people. That leaves your man Terrace Marshall on the backside, with the best type of leverage. And all that is is repetition, man, from a cold-blooded assassin, the juggler Joe himself. And then look at him be able to look at the product placement. Look at this small-ass window. This window is tighter than Tanner Muse's hips. Look at the product placement. So pitch perfect as always. Juggler Joe Burrow hits you in stride, let you get upfield a little bit. Can't play defense like that against LSU, man. All right, we've seen this three-verse concept work, right? two nines and a dig uh, we've seen against Alabama Auburn a whole bunch of times with Jamar Chase is absolutely destroying people right with LA, well, even though they're playing a split safety coverage if you look at this in actuality where the safety is positioned this is more like cover four meaning they all have a quarter of the field they need it to be more in a in a two deep shell to where the guys can help on the back half the reason the safeties are aligned like this is because they get anything going vert, right? So they'll wait for anything going vert and then help with the run game. That's not how you play LSU. Clemson needed to have developed a couple of inside cornerbacks, actual cornerbacks, which would allow them to press up on the guys on the inside, the receivers on the inside, the tight end and everything, and then play a split covered safety look over the top. All right, on the pool right here, you can see Joe Burrow. Going through his progressions, it's almost like a full look off because he just really wants to see what these safeties are doing because he wants to go backside to Jamar Chase where he feels that is the best matchup. If you can see, both of these guys are open uh, up top and because they both had a step on him. And, of course, Jamar Chase prison raping A.J. Terrell virtually all night long, baby. That's that all night long loving from prison. All right, y'all know I'm going to have much more content on this, right? It's going to be real quick. I got to do my cornerback wide receiver matchup stuff on both sides as well. But we see Jamar here uh, going against A.J. Terrell. A.J. Terrell doesn't do a bad job at the beginning, right? Great base, great strong base. Even shoots the correct hand for a jam, whereas most people would try to shoot the left hand and get totally demolished at the snap. Um, he needs to really try to decrease the space, but this is where it goes wrong for him. Too much damn reaching. Look at Jamar Chase. He's already faster than you. He's pumping his arms, right? Two arms. You're running with one arm out in, in a swimming motion with the other one. You're not going to be able to run as fast as him. Now, you see right there, still holding, still looking. Now, this is what makes Jamar Chase special. Look at this subtle push-off. He's so strong, he doesn't even have to extend his arm. And look how much separation he gets from A.J. Terrell. Crazy. Separation anxiety. Uh, you already know the rest. And my boy A.J. Terrell had PTSD. He was like... Oh, what happened, man? All right, here we go again. More strange defense from Clemson. What did I always tell you? Hands on, man, right? No free releases, and you have to play inside technique. So here we go with A.J. Terrell going to outside technique, and what do they do? The path of least resistance. They'll say, 
Well, thank you. I will take that. And there you go. Easy, quick slant on them. Move the chains. Can't let it be that easy for them. All right, here we go again. We've seen this wheel slant combination 15 million times, right? So I know Brent Venables saw it as well. I'm not sure why he would play single high safeties and let make them guard this much damn much of the field. I just think he was a little bit too stubborn because he knows how good he is as a defensive coordinator. All right, so check this out on the pool. That's the only way he can assist right there, that much of the field, realistically. There's no way he's going to be able to get to over there. And check this out. Burrow plays him by holding him with his eyes and then shoots that bad boy downfield, and the rest is history. All right, y'all, this is when I knew my man Brent Venables had snorted a whole bag of ants or something like that, and he was like Tuco from Breaking Bad. What is this, man? Why? Why? rush like this right you got hands on man across the board all you had to do is at this particular time is rush three drop eight rush three drop eight instead you don't account for burrow's ability to detach which is some of the best in the country when you know he only needed like five yards to get there just crazy to me man but all right man we're gonna stop it right there y'all guys have me on that live stream way too late Going to bed at 5 o'clock in the morning, having to kind of rewatch a little bit of this game and everything. So I need to get some sleep. But you know I have much more in this game. We're going to have to massage this being as though it's the last game and get a lot of uh, juice about it. It's turnip, right? Uh, but once again, congratulations to LSU. Uh, I know a proud fan base, proud creative fan base, proud creative state. I uh, finally got the Tigers back over the top. Like I said, back in February. This was the year for the Tigers to get back over that hump, right? So give your boys some credit for that at least. Um, be looking forward to see how the rosters shake out. So I know everybody's going to want to ask me about what do I think about next year and all this like that. I got to get the second signing period. I got to know about all the transfers. That's how you evaluate legit football, right? You got to know who's on these teams and the coaching staffs and everything like that. So LSU is going to be very good. Clemson's going to still be the king of the mountain, in my opinion. It's not going anywhere. Alabama, Georgia, all these teams. Florida, Penn State, I'm, I'm excited for next year. Ohio State, Oregon, all the new coaches all across the country. Man, it's going to be nuts. But with that being said, it's your boy Murph, the Underground King. Thanks for watching. Top Billing Sports, and I am out. Peace. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing.